This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torgro. So we have quite a bit of weather to get to, so I'm going to admit it's jam-packed. We're talking rain. It's a solid, uh, I would call it a heavy rain. We're so dry, it's probably not a flooding rain, but I'll show that to you. On the northern fringes of it, still looking at some snow. But now leaning away from snow and a little patch of freezing rain, I'll show that also to you. And uh, we'll start to look toward uh, Easter Sunday and extended periods from there. First, I want to just say uh, thank you to Lush Lawn for sponsoring the MLive Morning Weather Update. Check them out. You can always Google things. And I want to say hi to some folks. Joe and Philip Somp, good morning. I'm good. Danette Ziroff, good morning to you. And Celeste Stachurski. Oh, let's not have a day with all tough names, huh? Okay, so rain coming in tonight, it looks like. Here's our, our model that's going to show you the amount, six-hour amounts of rainfall, okay? And so this is uh, 2 a.m. this morning. Let's back it up. This is 8 p.m. tonight. So rain just starting in the southern parts of the state. Uh, Ann Arbor, you might get rain showers between 6 and 8 p.m. tonight. Same for the Detroit and Jackson areas. Otherwise dry in the far southwest corner also uh, by 8 p.m. Now by 2 a.m., the rain spreading up to north of Bay City, uh, north of Grand Rapids to Big Rapids. By 8 a.m., tomorrow morning, the rain and then snow spreading up into the northern part of the state. And what you're seeing there is a six hour rainfall. So a six hour rain around the Grand Rapids area, middle of the night tonight of an inch or so. See that yellow area? The blues are a half inch in a six hour time period. So quite a bit of rainfall. This is tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. This is the rain actually between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m and then the rain after 2 p.m. or precipitation is done. So we'll be looking at this storm system ending its precipitation in the morning hours into early Friday afternoon if you're in the northeast, early morning if you're in the southwest. So where you get it first, you get to have it come to an end last. Now the weekend, I'll be writing more about this in detail, but this is Saturday night, showers coming across. This is Saturday night. Sunday morning, colder air coming in, and that could be, very well could be, probably will be, snow in northern Michigan on Sunday. Uh, this time of the year, usually mix in with some rain, too. Hey there, Cindy Blaine from Milan. Did I get that right? I always mess that one up. Okay, now a little different perspective. This is what type of precipitation will be falling off of the European. The European has been the most aggressive with the largest area of snow. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow. So it says snow in Cadillac, Gaylord, West Branch, Alpena. It says freezing rain in that little purple strip. And then rain everywhere from Pinconning to Mount Pleasant to Big Rapids and southward. So southern Michigan, we're all rain you know, maybe a random flake mixed in there. This is uh, Friday, 2 p.m., and then off to the east. Another model that I want to show you, a little less aggressive on the snowfall, a little uh, about the same on the freezing rain. This is what we call the NAM, North American model, good in the short term. Basically, you just see a whole lot of rain. This is overnight tonight. That's uh, That's solid, moderate to heavy rain, but then toward morning, that's where the freezing rain comes in, Alpena, over toward West Branch, um, Mayo area. So a pretty limited uh, as far as winter weather on that model. I think the best place to get a snowfall forecast is from us human beings. And so I'll turn to my uh, friends at the National Weather Service. Their handmade forecast shows that one to three inch swath from, oh, let's call it the Grand Traverse area. Uh, eastward through Gaylord and into the northeast part of the state, Alpena Rogers City, uh, north of Pinconning, no accumulating snowfall whatsoever. I, I, sorry, I should say south of Pinconning, no accumulating snowfall. Here's the total rain expected, and there you have it. It's a doozy. It's a solid wake up the plants type rain. One 
inch to inch and a half solidly from Grand Rapids to the Saginaw Bay City Midland area and all points south and east. All right, a couple more things for you here. High temperatures today, still low 60s, Ann Arbor and Detroit, and then 62 in Flint, upper 50s, Tri-Cities, that's Flint, Sag or that's Bay City, Saginaw, Midland, uh, to upper 50s, Grand Rapids, to uh, 40s as you get toward the Traverse City area. Tomorrow's cooler in the upper 40s, but not cold. And then Saturday, the temperature bounces back in the south into the 60s. Then you got 50s, then you got 40s, UP you got some 30s, Sunday a little bit cooler. So temperatures are going to kind of be up and down, but not extreme, okay? And we'll be getting to the extended here in just a moment. Then we're into Tuesday of next week. We're probably 60-ish uh, in a lot of places. And Wednesday, it does look like we have a, a moderate cool down for Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And then we'll get back into some warmer air. And that's what I wanted to show you. So what this is, is this is the U.S. model called the GFS in its ensemble mode. They run a lot of different iterations of this model and average them all together. And we get a good look out uh, 16 days or so. And this is the temperature anomaly at the ground. So if you see blue, we're colder than normal. If you see red, we're warmer than normal. This is the weekend and when we cool down just a touch. And then this is Sunday, like I said, we could have some snow in the north. Into Monday, a little cooler. Look, the cool downs are only one to two days, okay? And then here's Tuesday, uh, and we're back to warmer than normal. Into Wednesday, here's that cold front, pretty strong cold front. Looks like it'll come through late Wednesday or Thursday. Drop our temperatures maybe about 10 degrees colder than normal. So you could have high, some high temperatures maybe for a day or so in the upper 30s to low 40s. Now we're into a good Friday afternoon. The cold is starting to wear off. We're into Saturday. The cold is starting to, it has worn off. And now we're into Easter Sunday, which would say 5 to 10 degrees warmer than normal, which would say well into the 50s to maybe into the 60s. And then let's go out into April. And look what happens. Uh, this model and many models expect a very mild pattern to just take hold and settle in. We're into April 9th now, April 10th, and all you saw there was about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than normal. That means 55 to 70 will be very common in the first 10 days of April. At that point, you got to say, yeah, she's she's done, and let's get some gardening going. Obviously, not the uh, warm plants, but uh, the warm, loving plants that can't handle frost, but certainly some. Uh, let's see. There you go. So that's the MLive morning weather update, and the big story is that we have quite a rain on the way. Call it an inch to inch and a half tonight and Friday morning. Some wind, too. 30 mile an hour gusts, maybe some 40 mile an hour gusts, but not quite as strong as the wind has been in places overnight. So get ready for rain and wind, some cooler temperatures, but in the long run, it looks like we are heading in the right direction if you want spring. Thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Lush Lawn in Michigan. And I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourselves a great Thursday. I'll update you on Friday. And hopefully you won't have to hear from me on the weekend. Take care.